Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Recitation. In lecture, you did a bunch of examples of related rates problems. So I have a couple more for you to do today. Um, so here we've got, OK, so we've got air being blown into a spherical balloon at a rate of 1,000 cubic centimeters per second. So the question is, how fast is the radius growing when the radius is equal to 8 centimeters? And then, OK, so I've got a second question, which is about how fast is the surface area growing at that same time? So why don't you take a few minutes, work this one out for yourself, come back, and we'll work it out together. All right, welcome back. So this question, like all related rates questions, has the property that the calculus is typically very straightforward, um, but that there's some <clears throat> geometric or algebraic setup. So in this, in this case, it's, it's straight up geometry. Um, so we have a balloon. We know it's a perfect sphere. We know how fast the volume is changing. So OK, so we need, but we need to know how fast the radius is changing. So in order to do that, we need to figure out a relationship between the radius and the volume. And then we can just do implicit differentiation like we've been doing. So for example, OK, so, so for a sphere, all right, this, this, the setup's not so bad for this, this first one, right? So we know that for a sphere, the volume is equal to 4 thirds pi times the radius cubed. So that's the, the you know, relation, the, the fundamental relationship between the volume and radius of a sphere, and it's true for every sphere everywhere in Euclidean space. And we're given also that the volume is changing at a constant rate of 1,000 centimeters cubed per second. So dv dt is just given to be 1,000. You know, you leave off the units at this point. Um, so the question is, what is dr dt? That's what we're trying to figure out. We're trying to figure out how fast the radius is changing at the moment when the radius is equal to 8 centimeters. So how can we do that? Well, this, this fundamental relationship, it's an identity it always holds. So that means we can differentiate it. Um, so if we take the derivative of this identity, well, v on the left just becomes dv dt. And on the right, we want to do implicit differentiation. So here, r is changing with respect to time. r is a function of t. Well, OK, so 4 thirds pi is a constant. So that when we differentiate, nothing happens, 4 thirds pi. And so now we differentiate r cubed with respect to t. So that gives us 3r squared times dr dt. So that's just the chain rule in action there. And now what we want is this dr dt, right? That's, that's the thing that we're looking for is how fast the radius is growing. So that's dr dt. And we want it at the moment when r is equal to 8. So when r is equal to 8, this implies that, well, OK, so dv dt is 1,000 always. And it implies that, OK, so it's equal to 1,000 is equal to 4 thirds pi times 3 times 8 squared times dr dt. So at this moment, that we're interested in, we have this equation to solve for dr dt. And this is a nice, simple equation to solve. You just divide through by everything on the right-hand side other than dr dt. So this implies that dr dt is equal to, well, OK, so I have to divide 1,000 by all this stuff. And I think it works out to something like 125 over 32 pi. All right, so that's the exact value. Maybe you're interested in sort of knowing about how large this is. So, so well, 32 pi is pretty close to 100. So this is about 1.2 something. So all right, so there we go. So that answers the first question. At that moment, the, the radius is growing at a rate of 125 over 32 pi centimeters per second. OK, so now how about the second question that we've got here? What about the surface area? So again, we, we know how fast now the radius is changing. And we know how fast the volume is changing. So in order to figure out how fast the surface area is changing, we need something that relates the surface area to either the volume or the radius. 
Now, the relationship between surface area and volume is something that we could sort of work out if we had to, but it's a lot easier to write down the surface area in terms of the radius. So let's do that. Um, so we have, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use the letter S to denote surface area of a sphere. So again, it's a general identity, you know, geometric fact that the surface area of a sphere is equal to 4 pi times the radius squared. And this is always true. And now the thing that we want is the rate of change of the surface area. So the rate of change is the derivative. So we want to compute the derivative here, uh, ds dt. So OK, so we just do it. So ds dt is equal to, well, 4 pi hangs around. And again, we, we differentiate r squared. So we have, r is a function of t. So we have to use the chain rule here. So this is times 2r times dr dt. So this is an identity. So this is true always. And now we want to know at this particular moment in time when r is equal to 8, what is ds dt? And in order to figure that out, well, OK, so we, we just have to be able to plug in for everything else. So, so when r equals 8, all right, well, luckily, now if we, if, if we were just starting this problem from scratch here, we'd have a problem, which is we wouldn't know what dr dt was. But luckily, we've already figured it out, right? So in, in the first part of the problem. So we know that when r is equal to 8, dr dt is equal to 125 over 32 pi. Did I copy that right? Yes, I did. OK. Um, so OK, so in this case, the equation we have to solve is just completely straightforward. We just plug in the values, and it's already solved for us. Um, so that's nice. Um, so that we get the ds dt at that moment is equal to, well, OK, so it's 4 pi times 2 times 8 is the radius times 125 over 32 pi. Oh, boy. And all right, so we can work this out if we want. I guess that's 32 pi to cancel. So that's equal to 250. And I guess the units there better be centimeters squared per second. So at this moment in time, the surface area is growing by 250 centimeters squared per second. So that's all we had to do. So we're all set.